All right, I'm going to go through the FOMC minute summary for you guys. So what Jerome Powell basically uh, told us is that, you know, inflation, of course, is going to be worsening. And let's be honest here, I don't think that actually comes as a mystery for us. After seeing inflation actually go up all the way to 8.6% um, year over year in the previous CPI report. And let's be honest here as well, uh, for the next CPI report that we're going to be getting in the next week, we're expecting somewhere in 1.1% month over month. And if you actually analyze that, that's about 13.2% year over year. So, of course, in this FOMC meeting, again, I just want to tell you guys that, you know, this is something that we already really went through when Jerome Powell basically came out to talk about the whole FOMC uh, interview as well. But this is just uh, what was actually discussed during the meeting in writing form. Okay, so what Jerome Powell said uh, during the actual FOMC um, interview, he was saying that, you know, 75 basis point increment is still on the table. However, if you actually go through the minutes, that doesn't seem to be the case because it's not just on the table. It seems that it's already chopped and signed and on its way to Congress because it seems that we're almost 90% sure to be getting a 75 basis increment uh, for the next meeting. So something that actually caught my eye when I was reading the um, entire meeting minutes last night uh, was that, you know, they recognize the possibility, okay, I'm going to quote this, they recognize the possibility that an even more restrictive stance could be appropriate if elevated inflation pressures were to persist. So the question is, how much inflation must go on for it to consider as persisting? Because right now, we are basically at 8.6%. And if we are actually expecting 1.1% uh, for the next month reading, we're actually bringing inflation up to 88 or even 8.9% year over year. Okay, And I'm not sure why that the Federal Reserve just refused to drop the recession word. Okay, And of course, in this whole entire minutes, if you were to just control F, if you put in inflation, you're going to get 90 results. If you put in recession, you're going to get zero. You're going to put in pause and you're going to get zero. So clearly, the Federal Reserve do not want to have anything to do with a recession or pausing of interest rate or slowing down of interest rate. However, they do care about inflation to the point where there's 90, uh, 90 such results uh, for inflation. Okay, but another important thing that really caught the Wall Street eyes Okay, well, not really in, uh, something that was actually in the minutes, but the lack of, um, because the lack of detail uh, that was in the minutes provided little to no details around what might prompt the central bank to actually slow down its pace for the um, current rate hikes or the rates increment. Okay, however, at this pace, uh, to them, to the Wall Street, basically, they are thinking that at this current pace that we're going with the 75 basis points, 75 basis points for the next uh, meeting as well, possibly 50 basis points for the uh, meeting afterwards, and so on and so forth. Uh, they are thinking that because at this current pace, it will only give the Federal Reserve more flexibility for them to kind of slow down or pause interest rate down the road. Uh, so, of course, that is hopefully when it's actually needed and uh, they are able to do so. Uh, which I think that this is exactly what I've said before. Uh, just bring the Fed's uh, federal funds rate up to 3.5%, you know, and just raise uh, 50 basis points every single month and just gauge the economy from there. I think that, you know, you have to start to bottleneck the growth if needed, take the recession head on, okay, and help to elevate um, the entire market again when it's actually in need. Literally what Paul Volcker did back in the 1970s. I think that he really showed us how to really uh, bring down hyperinflation, but the current Federal Reserve refused to bring us into a recession because they are hoping they can get us to a soft landing. But I do not know what the Feds really want to do right now. But anyway, that's the summary for the entire FOMC meeting minutes. Uh, that's all for this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.